Yo, Mad Dog Killer Son, coming at you again. Um, by now, you know, everybody pretty much knows two NYPD officers was um, shot and killed in their patrol car while on duty by a lone suicide gunman that ran into a nearby train station. Um, I believe it's rookie cops. I know one cop is black. I'm not sure the the race of the other one. I don't think it really matters, you know, whether it's a questionable police shooting or situation or vice versa. You know, two wrongs don't make a right. Um, yo, obviously something's got to change, my niggas. Something's got to change, right? Something's got to change. And um, the people have spoken, you know. And the way you get things to change is through legislation, it's through, um, um, you know, Capitol Hill, you know, um, it's through your local congressman, it's, um, it's, it's getting these attention, which we do have the attention of uh, the district attorney, you know, and, and the federal government. Um, to think, you know, let me rewind, you know, going back to one of my previous blogs when I was talking about police brutality, you just can't, you can't allow a reverend or a lawyer or somebody to jump in front of a camera and say, no justice, no peace, and, you know, we want this and we want that, or else, you know, it's going to be this. You create a hostile environment where there's people that operate, they mind operate at a different level, and if they don't have nothing to lose, they might just say, oh, let me just pop off here, pop off at a cop, pop off there. The problem with that, you know, you might say, well, I don't care, it's a cop that got killed, or I don't care what happened to them. Well, you should, you know, and I'm going to tell you why. You should care, because now anything that a cop does or they could say you could be going knocking up knocking on a cop's door um just asking for directions you might get lost and see a cop car and you know knock on their window for directions he might just shoot you he might just and he could resort back to you know the ambush you know that happened in brooklyn crown heights uh, not crown heights um that's that um you know, they can use a lot of excuses now. This is going to be imprinted in their mind as justification for the type of force that they use. This creates a huge problem for us, you know, in the communities. Um, and I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about anybody. Anybody that a cop sees as a threat creates a huge problem because, you know, people are taking... Uh, more and more liberties as these protests and things go on. I would like to see, let me just get right out and say, I would like to see a change. I would like to see everyone treated fairly. I would like to see everyone treated um, with the same level of respect that every race should get. You know, it should be equal. Right now, it's not equal. Just because it's not equal, does that mean that we go out and shoot people? You know, you don't even know who you're shooting. I don't condone that. I'm going to come right out and say I don't condone shooting random cops on duty. That I don't condone shooting anybody, to be honest with you. You know, the, whatever the cops did that's wrong, we, we need to get that addressed. We can't, We need to fight that battle. We can't say, okay, you killed one of ours, oh, now we're going to kill one of yours, you know, and we'll just, you, you, you're not going to win that trade-off, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't even think I need to explain all of this. It's just, you know, I think people are going to take this, people will take this incident and run with it. Meanwhile, you know, those could be two uh, good brothers, never hurt nobody before in their life and 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 they have great families you know maybe kids you know just before christmas 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know the Gardner family is hurting. I know the Ferguson family is hurting. I'm not sure, you know, I mean, Sean Bell, I mean, we could go on and on on the names of people's families that's hurting. But the way to fix this thing is with constructive uh, solution finding forums and um, hold people accountable. You know, the president, the district attorney um, holder, and um, a lot of these people are saying that they, they're about to do something, that they, they hear us, you know, that they want this done. Uh, I'm just hoping that, you know, not even hoping. I mean, it is what it is. You got cops saying it's, you know, you know, the line has been drawn now. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's wartime, you know, <sighs> those comments is not good either. Wearing a shirt saying I can breathe as a cop should not wear it cops should not do that it's, it shows insensitivity to a situation they're paid to do a job and have a thick skin and ignore the words and comments that people say I know people act like if they don't want the police in the neighborhood or they don't want the police there and you can't you cannot have a lawless society nobody wants that um, but the same token you, 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 as a police officer you can't have rabbit ears you can't be walking around sending messages like I can breathe or responding back to some of the protests um, hostilities that have been conveyed over the past few weeks or, or months um, I just you know I just want really I say this all the time, you can't have peace without the threat of violence, but I just hope that there's some quick resolution to some of this stuff. It, it, it has to come down quick and fast because two cops getting killed in, in New York City is going worldwide. Make no mistake about that. And every cop in the nation is on guard. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a brother, you're in your car, you get pulled over, do not play with these cops, man. Follow instructions. Do what they tell you to do and try and get to that next day because you cannot say it's open season on cops and think there will be no retaliation. Uh, and I don't want to say retaliation like they going out there looking to kill two people in cold blood. It might seem that way if something pop off, but that's not what they plan on doing. That's not what cops do. But I will tell you this. You will have cops a little bit more nervous, a little bit more um, quick to make a decision because they want to go home to their family just like anybody else, you know. And it's a scary situation where you can't even do your job without looking over your shoulder or you can't go outside without looking over your shoulder you know everybody's in the same bucket now cops citizens people <sighs> yo subscribe holler at me yo I wanna hear your comments on this you know there's no wrong answer you know like I say all the time you could do the right thing, you could do the wrong thing, the worst thing you could do is nothing at all. You know, we, we need to holler at each other on this one. You know, holler at me.